Okay, overall energy, we have the 10 of Pentacles. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there is a lot of stability. There's a lot of security around a family environment. So either you are getting married, you're thinking for, uh, you're thinking of um, a commitment, a solid commitment. This is abundance in money. This is everything that you wished for. All right, that's the overall energy. A lot of happiness. The first card we have, Queen of Swords in reverse, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Either you're not talking to someone, there is communication which is cut off or there is minimum communication. Someone is very, very unforgiving, all right? This is someone who is very, very angry, nasty, mean, and bitter, all right? There's someone around you who is like that. We have the moon. You could be dealing with the Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart. Something's hidden. There are secrets and there is something that you cannot see as yet. Things are not the way you seem to be and uh, things are still in the dark, okay? This could be an indication of someone having a lot of stress and fear, anxiety, etc. We have the king of wands in reverse. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone who is lacking enthusiasm. This is someone who is unreliable. This is someone who is more like a, like a player. This could also be a married man who is trying to have an extra marital affair. But this is definitely someone who is not genuine, all right? Someone in your environment who is not ready to take action, who is just probably just messing around. They're not genuine. They're not coming to you with sincerity. However, you have the star card. This is Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I have Aquarius in your birth chart. This is a wish fulfillment, okay? So someone, there is a wish that is probably coming true or there is a wish that has come true. This is healing. This is faith. Believe in something, all right? Maybe things are not going your way, but still someone is holding on to faith or there is a need for having a balance in the situation. You have the hangman in reverse. This is more Pisces energy or Aries. Someone is stuck in a limbo, okay? Someone is not trying to think from the other person's perspective or they're not trying to think from the other point of view, all right? This is someone who's either stuck in a limbo or someone who is probably who was probably stuck and stagnant for a while not taking action, but now they're coming out of that and they're ready to take action, okay? This is someone who has thought for a very long time. We have the magician. This is Aries or Gemini. There is someone around you who thinks, or this could also be you, who thinks that they can make things happen. They have all the four elements. They have fire, they have water, they have air, they have earth. They feel they can make things happen. This can be someone who's manipulative, but this is not a bad person, okay? This could be someone manipulative to get, a, to get things what they want, but um, their intentions are not bad, all right? Because it's in the upright. Okay. Let's get some more messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September. All right, Virgo, we have your card. You have the Hermit. This is uh, either there is a separation, there is a breakup or someone has gone into isolation. There is probably no communication between you and the other person. Or this is just someone going within, like more like self-introspection, trying to find out what's going on, trying to find answers within themselves. More messages for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay. We have the two of wands in reverse. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone who is a indecisive. This is someone who has probably feel who's probably now feeling that they made a wrong decision. They need to go back to the blackboard and they need to re, uh, they need to work out another strategy. Or this is someone who is indecisive. Or this is someone who is fearful of making a decision and they are sticking to the safest choices. Okay, they 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 don't want to get out of their comfort zone. However, you have nine of wands. This is more fire energy. This is someone who is blocked. Okay, they are blocking them. Uh, they're blocking themselves from you or you're blocking yourself from someone, okay? You're emotionally blocking yourself. You see, you have to go through all these nine wants to go to that person, okay? That person's really guarded, their guard is up, okay? However, they're exhausted. They are like so done fighting. They may give this another chance, but they're definitely not ready to compromise, okay? So they're going to be very, very difficult to get through. All right. I'm going to clarify a few cards. All right. Why is the moon here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Oh, the moon is here because the magician was in reverse. So this is now 
you have the magician here in upright. But earlier you had the magician in reverse. So there could be someone, an Aries or Gemini of significance, someone who is a liar or cheater, someone who is very, very manipulative. Okay. This person can go up to any level to get what they want. They will want to extract whatever they want from you. Okay. This could be someone who is very charming, very good with their words, and very smart. All right. So they probably they know how to get their way through. But they did try and lie to you. They tried, they had some tricks up their sleeves and they were trying to be a very big fraud. So. Why is the king of wands in reverse? Why is the king of wands in reverse? Why is the king of wands in reverse? The king of wands in reverse because the king of wands is confused. You have the seven of cups. This is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. King of wands is reverse because there is either someone of you, either you or the person you're dealing with has a lot of options. This is a lot of picking and choosing. This is where you feel maybe this cup is right or that cup is right or all cups are right. Okay, you're confused. This is a lot of confusion, a lot of illusions. Okay, or probably someone is living in a fairy tale and they feel that things are going to, they're going to get everything. All right. But overall, I see the king of wands. This is someone who's not taking action, who's lacking enthusiasm because either they are confused or the person they're dealing with is very confused. Let's clarify the nine of wands. Please clarify the nine of wands. Please clarify the nine of wands. Nine of wands. Please clarify the nine of wands. Please clarify the nine of. Please clarify the nine of wands. Please clarify the nine of wands. Come on, nine of wands. Blocked because of the eight of pentacles in reverse. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone is not putting in the effort in the relationship anymore because they are so blocked. Okay. They're so blocked. They don't want to work with you anymore or you don't want to work with someone anymore. Someone is focused on everything else except the relationship or except whatever the situation is. Okay. So either you are not putting in the work or someone else is not putting in the work. It could also be the other way that because someone was not putting in the work anymore, right? Now the other person that is not interested okay they're too blocked you need to walk an entire mile to get through them okay they're emotionally blocking you they're not letting you in so yeah or this could also be a workaholic or this could be someone who is probably trying to drown themselves in work so they don't have to face the situation or they don't have to face the consequences why is why is the hermit here why is the hermit here we got two cards flipped out. Three. Oh, too many cards. Okay. I'll still read out. You have the death in reverse, Scorpio. You have the ace of wands in reverse, fire energy, ace of pentacles, earth energy, page of swords, air energy. All right. So either someone is trying to, you could have a, a, a significant Scorpio in your life or you could be dealing with a Scorpio or Scorpio in your birth chart. Someone is trying to resist an end. Okay. Someone's resisting a change. Someone is resist, resisting a significant change or a big change from coming into their life because they feel that if this change happens there's a lot of things that's going to go into, uh that's going to be uncomfortable for them okay they're trying to resist a change the change is coming regardless okay but you can't resist this for a very long time you have the ace of wands in reverse so probably someone wants to start something new but they're lacking passion there is not lack enough inspiration or enough motivation to restart something new or it may just not be the right time to start something new However, whoever wants to start this, they want to start with a something solid, something committed, something very genuine, something very secure. They want to offer something. This is a blessing coming from the universe. Okay. This is something very small, but it has the potential to grow very, very big. So this could be someone offering a commitment, offering marriage, offering a ring, like an engagement or something, but someone wants to do something solid. Whoever this person is, right? This could be a younger air sign, Aries, Leo, Sag uh, Sorry, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, whoever this is, someone's stalking you from a distance or you could be stalking this person, all right? They want to talk to you, but they're still stalking because you are on guard. That's what I feel. But however, I feel someone's going to take action. There's going to be a wish fulfillment somewhere. And uh, someone who is the magician, right? They feel that they can make things work out. So earlier they were in the reverse. They had their tricks. Now they're upright. They have everything that, that, it, that it takes to make things work out. All right, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please leave your comments down below. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye-bye.